But so when, when, when it comes to developing artists and stuff, you, you spoke about obviously believability that you have to believe in the artist. Um, but are there any other like questions or doubts that you need to get resolved before you take the, the artist to the next level, so to speak? I mean, we have a, a band that we're working with now out of Minneapolis and, you know, it's just seeing what they've done on their own, you know, how they've, you know, they've started to build a following in a small, in a, you know, in, in, a, in a local, localized community. Mm -hmm. um, are they able, <clears throat> are they, you know, right now, do they have, a, what are their socials not look like? And, um, and talking with the band, if you're pointing out what's wrong in their socials or with the artist, are they, are they able to really listen and grow? And um, songwriting, uh, you know, it's being able to communicate with somebody and not just say, yeah, this song is great. You know, it's like, well, it's good, but, you know, if, well, let's, are you open to trying this, this, and this? And, you know, some of those choices might be good. Some of them might not be. I mean, I will... You know, I'll throw out a bunch of things that I think might help help develop this. And but you know, the only way to really tell is give it a try and and see if it works better. And you know, it's I, I think the artist needs to be open to that as well. Do they do they have the work ethic? You know, knowing what this is going to take, most bands don't realize. You know, what going from from zero to 150 miles an hour in your career is is how that's going to affect them and the amount of work that it takes to go from playing, you know, you're playing clubs for 80 or 100 people and six months later you're on, you know, you're on tour playing in front of 20,000 seats and there's all these interviews and you've got to be writing the next album and you're on the bus and you're, you know, and you're doing that for two years and coming back and, and the, uh, the label's expecting you to have a new album ready to go. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so... You know, just seeing if he, you know, just seeing if I, if I think they'll be able to handle right, right, that right. level of workload. That, right. You know. Yeah, that, that's pretty fascinating. That's something I, I never thought about would be a factor, but it definitely makes sense. Um, but yeah, I've I, seen so many artists burn out. You know, mm, that mm. they come back from the first three-year run, and they're just, right. I mean, they're they're destroyed. You know. I can imagine. I mean, I can imagine it be. It is. It must be tough being on the road. I never been on the road myself, really, like that. But I can imagine it is. Is it is hard, you know? Uh, but it's. I guess it's also hard for anyone starting out. Anyway, doesn't matter which area of the music industry you are in. I guess. It. It's. Yeah. It's not. It's certainly not an easy career choice. No. <laughs> um, but you mentioned like uh, how you look at bands or if it's a local band or you're looking at their social media it, for example what is a is there some sort of a metric that you go by or is it could it be anything on the, let's say social media does it have to be 10,000 fans or is there such a number or that's not relevant well, for, for me you know I'm different than a major label where I don't really have to look at I can weigh I can weigh more on whether I love I love this song. I believe in this. Song. Whether or not they have, they have they only have 250 followers, and they can draw 80 people to a club, you know I have the freedom to just you know I love this and I see something with this. Mm. Uh, and you know at, at a major level, obviously there's a lot more. You know, but people are are, are really putting a, a, the, the the numbers, the actual social media numbers, really play. A lot bigger role, you know, eighty percent of the decision on whether to sign something, just because they really want to see that it's that it's developed to a point where you can say you can say if we just throw gasoline on this, right, right, this right. is going to explode. Um, I can help get it to that point right. where labels are excited about it. We have a band we signed almost Monday from San Diego. Um, that I mean, I have five times as many social media followers as they did. Um, but I heard the band and, and when I first, when I first met these guys, I just, I, I love their attitude. I love their work ethic. Um, I love the lead singer Dawson, his voice just, you know, 
just really made me feel something. So, mm. you know, again, it, it's it's my time. You know, if, if I believe in it, I can invest in it. It's not not a record, a major label that has to weigh the, you know, that that has to weigh putting five million dollars into this band. Mm. You know, right. am I going to lose my job over over? You know, pushing to invest in this band that failed miserably. You know, I can, you know, I I have the option to, to really just take things that I believe in and try to get them to the point where we can partner with a major. Right.